Revelations chapter 10. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud and a rainbow was upon his head. And his face was as it were the sun and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot on the earth and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered and write them not. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven and swear by him that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and the things that therein are and the earth and the things that therein are and the sea and the things which are th are therein that there should be time no longer. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished. And he hath declared to his servants, the prophets, and the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, go and take the little book, which is open in the hand of the angel, which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it, and eat it, and eat it up. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in the mouth, in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand, and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples, the nations and tongues and kings. This chapter is an introduction to the later part of the prophecies of this book. Whether what it is contained between this and the sounding of the seventh trumpet be a distinct prophecy from the other or only a more general account of some of the practical things included and the other is a dispute by our curious inquiries into these writings. However, here we have a remarkable description of a very glorious angel with an open book in his hand, an account of seven thunders which the apostle heard as an echoing to the voice of this angel and communicating some discoveries which the apostle was not yet allowed to write. The solemn oath taken by him who had the book in his hand the charge given to the apostle and observed by him. Here we have an account of another vision the apostle was favored with between the sounding of the sixth trumpet and that of the seventh. And we observe the person who was practically concerned in communicating this discovery to John, an angel from heaven, another mighty angel who was so set forth as would induce one to think it could be no other than our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.